Hello guys, today I want to share with you some of the tech gadgets that I used this year and also give you an update on what comes next. First I want to show you the power bank which I have been using almost all the time. This is the Xiaomi power bank, usually I travel a lot and carry a lot of gadgets with me and this has always been a great source of power. It can charge at least 4 times any of my smartphones, it is very reliable and it's one of the gadgets I use most. This is something pretty cool, the Huawei pocket printer with zero ink technology. Since the time I bought this printer I have printed many photos, this is something that I didn't do before. All these gadgets that I show you today are things that have been around me all the time and I've used them quite a lot. You can find reviews for all of them on my channel. I have printed a lot of pictures with this little printer, it's a great gadget and you can always give a nice surprise to your friends. During this year I have tested many different earphones, some were good and some were not. However, if you're searching for inexpensive but at the same time with good sound quality and long battery life earphones, these are pretty good. You can watch the full review, I call them the cyberpunk earphones, these are the Kumi T5S, they sound pretty good and have 5 hours of play time. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, I used this gimbal in some of my videos, this is the third generation mobile gimbals from DJI. It has this new folding design and it's much more compact compared to the second generation. The things which I most like about this gimbal is the design and the battery life. You can use it for a whole day. DJI has also done a lot to improve the software and now the gimbal works pretty well. However, this is not exactly a cheap gimbal compared to many other brands, but DJI has proven themselves with good quality products, that's why this was my choice. This is one more gadget from DJI and it's currently one of the best action cameras on the market. The DJI Osmo Action, this camera has very good video quality and a lot of cool features. Again, this is not a cheap action camera compared to many other brands. However, the video quality is great and with the latest updates you can film with 240 frames in Full HD, which creates a very good slow motion videos. I've used this camera a lot over the last few months and it's one of my favorite gadgets. The battery life is pretty good, the display is very bright and there are a lot of features to choose from. Definitely a great choice for those who want to create a cool action videos. I've been testing a lot of smartwatches over the last few months, even though the Huawei Watch GT can't be called a real smartwatch is still one of the best. This watch can't compare on features with Apple Watch or other real smartwatches, there is no app store or applications that you can choose to install. The watch faces are also limited, even though the Huawei continues to add new every week. However, with all that being said I have to mention that the battery life is almost 2 weeks. This is something that I really appreciate and I can't wait to test the second version. Of course we can't talk about smartwatches and not to mention the real deal, the Apple Watch 5. As I said I have been testing a lot of smartwatches lately. Some of them try to copy the design of the Apple Watch, but what they can't copy is its features. The features of this watch are still far ahead of its competition. I can't say many things that I don't like about the Apple Watch, except for two, one is the battery life and the other is that only works with the iPhone. Buying the Galaxy Note 10 was one of the best deals for this year. This is probably one of the best Android phones money can buy and definitely is my favorite Android phone. I made several videos about this phone, we bought accessories and played PUBG. The specs are great and the 12 gigs of RAM are something you always want to have on a phone. The display and the overall design of the phone are great as well. As we expect new Samsung Galaxy devices in next year, I can't wait to see the new Galaxy Note 11 and the Galaxy S11. I am sure they will be even better. The iPhone 11 Pro was another great buy for this year, the best phone from Apple is now even better. I bought some pretty cool accessories for it, including sapphire lenses, we played games and also tested against the Galaxy Note 10. 
The rumors of the iPhone 12 are already here and I can't wait to see the new phones. Spoiler alert, the design of the iPhone 12 will be the same. Here are a few cool things that you can expect in the coming videos. The Huawei Watch GT2, I can't wait for this upgrade. Another cool thing is the new Huawei Sound X smart speaker. I can only tell you, this thing sounds amazing and I can't wait to test it. The new VR glasses from Huawei is another cool product that was just released and I can't wait to test them. And as this video comes to its end and the year with it, I want to thank you all for supporting me watching and liking my videos and of course thanks to all who bought from my merch. It was great year and I can't wait to test even more gadgets in the next one. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, don't be shy, because if you shy you won't get super cool gadgets for the next year. Thanks for watching and I wish you all very great 2020.